Got him. KHOU 11 News at Noon starts now. And now at noon, a young Sci Fair area man killed. What police say was the motive and how his friends are remembering him. Plus, the man police say shot and killed a Houston doctor on the run. The big clue that could lead police straight to the suspect. Plus, a Texas baseball brawl caught on camera. A dad and a coach go at it. The comment that triggered it all. And the beehive is buzzing. New at noon will take you inside the childhood home of Beyonce as the house hits the market. And breaking at noon now, shots are fired at Harris County deputies during a chase. Sources say the suspect bailed out during that chase. Deputies now trying to find him near a bayou. This is a live look from Air 11 at Del Dale and Sterling Green. This is going to be in Far East Harris County. Good afternoon. I'm Shern Min Chow. New at noon, investigators have identified a Northwest Houston man shot and killed overnight as Frederick Kennedy. This happened at an apartment complex in Northwest Harris County on Greenhouse Road across from Cypress Lakes High School. Adam Bennett shows us how friends are now remembering him. Investigators spend more than six hours in this apartment complex on Greenhouse Road just across the street from Cypress Lakes High School. And they now believe the motive for that deadly shooting in that common area was robbery. Deputies showed up at the Commons at Hollyhock Apartments around 1.40 this morning after getting a call. Once there, they found EMS on a building stairwell, treating a man in his mid to late 20s who had been shot several times. That man died on scene. We spoke with one man who says he grew up with Fred Kennedy in Ailey, where he says Kennedy played football for Taylor High School and graduated in 2009. He says the two last spoke through social media a couple days ago. He says he can't fathom why anyone would want to harm his lifelong friend. Fred will give you, literally give you the clothes off his back and wouldn't think twice about it. Um, we, we didn't have the, the most growing up, but we had enough to where we would help help each other. This is truly just a, a horrible, horrible situation, man. Wilson says now he just wants to be with Kennedy's family, who we saw at the scene earlier, but were understandably distraught and didn't speak to media. Both Wilson and a family friend on scene told us that Kennedy's girlfriend lives in the apartment next to where the victim was shot. Investigators say witnesses saw four men fleeing the complex. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says they were wearing all black clothing and seen taking off in a white sedan and a dark colored small truck. Reporting from Northwest Harris County, Adam Bennett, KHOU 11 News. Take a look at your screen. Houston police say Joseph Pappas murdered cardiologist Mark Houseconnect last month in the Med Center. Authorities want to find the former reserve deputy who was selling firearms the day after that shooting. Michelle Choi has more on the case that has captured national attention. We're standing in front of Joseph Pappas' house. Now, investigators searched this place through and through yesterday, trying to figure out where he might be. And they tell us there's a good chance he left this place on his bike. A 10 speed Schwinn bicycle. Take a good look. This is the same bike he was seen riding moments after police say he gunned down and killed Houston cardiologist Dr. Mark Houseconnect late last month. And for weeks, we've been asking why. Police now have a theory. They say Papa's mother was a patient of the doctor who died during surgery more than 20 years ago, a decades long grudge ending in tragedy. Police say the 62 year old is also former law enforcement. Papa's family says they haven't heard from him in more than 24 hours, but they did receive texts suggesting he might be suicidal. Again, he is considered armed and dangerous. If you see him, you're asked to call Houston police immediately. Reporting in Southwest Houston, Michelle Choi, KHOU 11 News. And in another local high profile case, a 19 year old charged with the murder of a good Samaritan and that young man faced a judge today. That suspect deputies say Gilbert Gomez Jr. drove the getaway car after Moises Adeguin was killed. The father of two was trying to protect his teenage neighbor from an armed robbery when he was shot. The two other juveniles are also charged. Investigators believe one more suspect is still out there. Houston city leaders say a detention center locally for immigrant children of undocumented parents will not open anytime soon. Some lawmakers had heard that the Southwest Key Shelter was almost ready to open, but Houston says that the company does not have the necessary permits. The streaming service Spotify canning some episodes of the Alex Jones show for violating its hate content policy. The conspiracy theorist is an Austin radio host who calls the 2012 Sandy Hook elementary shooting 
a hoax. He is currently on trial for defamation. Uh, that lawsuit filed by parents of Sandy Hook victims. Yesterday in court, his attorney argued he is protected by free speech. Caught on camera, a youth baseball coach and parent caught in a post-game brawl. The Plato adults can be seen in this video holding each other in headlocks. So what set everything off? Witnesses say a dad in the stands called out to the opposing team after the game ended. Take a listen. Hey, second place ain't bad. You want to do something? Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. Come here. Come here. Right after our dad said second place ain't bad, uh, the guy charged across the field to the fence and slammed to the fence, screaming at him, swearing at him. Plano officers did come out to the scene, but neither the mom or dad involved wanted to file a complaint. Parents want the coach who charged the dad to be disciplined. A lot of hot tempers out there and some Jeez. hot temperatures here in Houston, but it's a dry heat, Brooks. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If only it worked on the tempers of those Plano yeah, parents. I'll tell you what, Despicable huh? behavior, Sherman. Well, we've got some bright sunshine outside right now. Partly cloudy skies. It's a hot day, but a beautiful sky live view from Sugarland, the Methodist Hospital. We're looking at temperatures already pushing 90 degrees, and we're going to be well up into the mid 90s before this afternoon is out. We've got an ozone action day in place. Recommended if you can carpool. Take away some of those polluting emissions that the bright sunshine can convert into ground level ozone, which can be an irritant to the respiratory system to those sensitive folks. 92 at spring right now, 90 in Katy, Sugarland 92, Alvin 89. Same with Pearland and Manville in Brazoria County. So we're looking at a forecast today featuring rapidly rising temperatures as you'd expect this time of year. 95 by 4 o'clock, which by the way is our normal high this time of year, but thankfully due to the low relative humidities, thanks to dew points in the mid 60s, it will feel arguably comfortable, at least by Houston standards. Coming up though, that will change and we'll also see a return to our rainier summertime pattern. Sure, man, I'll lay it out on the timeline coming up. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Thank you, Brooks. An HISD trustee says she has a plan to reverse the proposed teacher salary freeze. Elizabeth Santos is announcing that plan in less than half an hour. The board is scheduled to vote on the freeze August the 9th. The district is facing a $100 million plus shortfall this year. Some good back to school news. Free vaccinations today thanks to the Children's Museum of Houston. It's good for the first 150 kids and starts at 5 p.m. That's when free family Thursday nights begins. You'll need your child's vaccination records. The museum will have other vaccination nights later this month. New at noon, Beyonce's childhood Houston home is on the market. Maybe you're interested. Take a look. This is new at noon. A look inside that house, the three bedroom home featured on BET and MTV. It's located on Rosedale near 288 and the Museum District. This piece of music history listed for a mere $500,000. Famed college football coach Urban Meyer on paid leave, what he is now admitting about domestic abuse allegations against a former assistant. And dramatic stories of survival. Victims of Mexico's jet crash explain what happened as that plane went down. Hi, I'm Matt Granted here for Deal Boss. It's time for you to take charge of the stuff you really want and be your own Deal Boss. Deal Boss! Go to Facebook.com slash DealBoss for your best deals on everything from phones to drones, sneakers to speakers. We've got the best prices, exclusive products, and lots more only here on the DealBoss Facebook page. Follow us, Facebook.com slash DealBoss. Visit KHOU.com slash DealBoss today. Are you one of the millions of Americans suffering from chronic knee pain? Have you been told knee replacement surgery is your only option? Then call now to see if you qualify for a breakthrough all-natural treatment for knee pain relief. By using an FDA-approved product that replenishes the lubricant in your joints, a cushioning layer is created, allowing you to move smoothly and pain-free. This treatment is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. Call now and get your mobility back. At Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, we know everyone has their favorite spot. It's our anniversary sale. Right now only, get 0% interest until January 2021. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, live life comfortably. Homeowners, are you tired of low water pressure, being scalded in the shower when someone flushes, or had expensive leaks in your pipes? 
I'm Jeff Butler, owner of Repipe Specialists. We eliminate all these problems by repiping your home with Nupex pipes. We repipe most homes in just one or two days, plus we'll patch your walls and give you a lifetime guarantee. We've completed over 30,000 repipes and can help you too. Call us today for a free estimate to get great water pressure and no more leaks. It's time to kick ordinary burgers in the buns. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. At Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, we know everyone has their favorite spot. It's our anniversary sale. Right now only, get 0% interest until January 2021. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, live life comfortably. President Trump reportedly pushing his attorneys to let him testify in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. Negotiations continuing between the lawyers on the parameters, what can be answered in writing or in person. The New York Times reports Mueller's team standing firm on the topics of discussion, including possible coordination between Mr. Trump's associates and Russia and whether the president tried to obstruct the investigation. We are now hearing dramatic accounts from Americans who survived that plane crash in Mexico. At least 65 Americans were among the 103 people on board, and yes, everyone survived. As we started going up, the wind started picking up, and then the hail started coming down on us. So that the plane couldn't handle it, and it just came down. Now, many passengers are wondering why the plane took off at all. Investigators have recovered both black boxes. Aeromexico says so far 64 people have been released from hospitals. Ohio State has put famed head coach Urban Meyer on leave. That as it investigates what he knew about domestic abuse allegations against his former assistant coach, Zach Smith. Meyer denied knowing anything about a 2015 incident, but admitted he was aware of a dispute in 2009. A sports reporter yesterday released apparent texts between Meyer and Smith's now ex-wife talking about the abuse. Going beyond meat, even big restaurant chains and a Houston Texan are getting on board. The new burger crafted in a lab. And Kroger working to make your life easier. How the company wants to shorten your to-do list in just a couple of clicks. Well, we're enjoying low relative humidities, dry air. The tropics are still there. Here we are in August. It's going to get active later this month. Thankfully, nothing to track at this point, so we will be tracking a chance for some rain making a return to Houston this weekend. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll track that hour by hour coming up. Soft. And absorbent. Extremely absorbent paper towels. Kroger brand, where awesome meets affordable. How can one size fit all? You are not like me, so I can't take something that works for me and make it work for you. Here, we will customize anything you want that fits for you. I don't know of anyone else that can say that and create it. Located in East Downtown and now in Katy off I-10 and Fort Bend Road. Save huge with 20% off select luxury mattresses. The man who took cool to new heights. Stepping out with my baby. Tony Bennett. Best is yet to come. With special guest Antonia Bennett. August 23rd, 8 p.m. Smart Financial Center. Tony Bennett. San Francisco. A special evening of timeless classics. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. The Grammy-winning CD, Tony Bennett Celebrates 90. Available now. At Kroger, you'll find low prices on everyday essentials, like Kroger Large Eggs. They're perfect for every meal of the day. And right now, you can get a dozen grade-A eggs for just 88 cents. native of this great city and I've never been prouder to stand for Houston. We grow together. We learn together. We learn together. We invite you to visit our schools and see how we guide the leaders of tomorrow. We offer a faith-based education to students of every culture 
Celebrate the light in your student. Choose a Catholic school. Visit choosecatholicschools.org. Wow, Apple has become the world's first publicly traded company to be valued at $1 trillion. The peak reached today seemed unimaginable in 1997 when Apple was teetering on the edge of bankruptcy with its stock trading for less than $1. If only I had purchased stock back then. A new consumer alert, over 1 million Ram pickups are being recalled because their tailgates can fly open while on the road. Fiat Chrysler says it needs to fix the power locking mechanisms in the tailgates. The recall applies to models made between 2015 and 2017. So far, no injuries have been reported. We have listed the specific models on KHOU.com. Kroger getting into the grocery delivery game and good news Houston, it is available here. They're focusing on non-perishable household goods to start. It's called Kroger Ship. It'll cost you $4.99 in order or you can get free delivery if you spend $35 or more. You order directly from the store's website. IHOP is saying that its fake name change turned out to be a real success. In June, the company said it was switching the last letter of its name from P to B, remember IHOP, that was to uh, emphasize its expanded burger menu. Well, IHOP has been admitting that was just a marketing, marketing stunt, but insists that the ploy paid off in increased sales and traffic. Folks who want to avoid red meat but can't give up those burgers now have a new option. And those people include Houston Texan DeAndre Hopkins. Kenneth Craig digging into the growing trend of burgers born in a lab. It looks like any other burger, but this patty could be the future of protein. We're a company that's focused on one thing, and that's to build meat directly from plants. Ethan Brown is the CEO and founder of Beyond Meat. All the way down. At the company's new Los Angeles facility, scientists and chefs work together to recreate the flavor, aroma, and texture of meat using plant-based ingredients. NFL wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins is an investor. They're telling me I can get the same amount of protein as eating this as a burger, and you know, it, it sparked my attention. Brown says his lab creation is a healthier product that also addresses animal welfare and environmental concerns. The Beyond Burger has gone beyond the lab. It's now sold in stores and restaurants, including big chains like TGI Fridays. Impossible Foods is also in the meatless meat race, making vegan burgers sold at White Castle. It ends up being this pretty highly processed food because they're trying to mimic uh, a beef burger. Nutritionist Alyssa Rumsey has reservations. I think that, you know, there's this sort of health halo around the idea of plant-based. And just because something is plant-based doesn't mean that it's made with like whole vegetables or whole grains. But Beyond Meat says consumers are eating it up, buying 13 million Beyond Burgers and counting. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Oh, I guess I, I, it's probably not correct it's, to say, but I like a good burger. The old-fashioned <laughs> way, from a cow. <laughs> I don't know, Sherman. One Thanksgiving, I tried out a tofurkey. It's a tofu turkey. It didn't sit so well. Not so good, huh? But the turkey survived. Was good for the, the turkey. <laughs> loved that tofu yes. turkey burger you had Absolutely. or whatever. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? It's not going to take a grill to cook some meat today with this sunshine. And that meat may be you. If you're not working on that SPF 50, it'll be 95 degrees.